What's good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Chrissy Talks. Y'all come with Chrissy, and let's go ahead and jump into this. Now, first and foremost, I uploaded a video yesterday about some theories and some updates from the twins about what could have happened that night. Now, the last five minutes of that video did not upload, so I'm going to post a few minutes of that portion, because that's when I introduced Henry Stevenson, who is Sway's boyfriend that allegedly shot and killed their father. So I'm going to go ahead and post a few minutes of the remainder of that video, and then we're going to go ahead and jump into Sway's live that she recently posted about her side of the story. I will include timestamps down below in the comments so you guys can feel free to fast forward. Now let's go ahead and talk about Henry Stevenson. Now this is Henry Stevenson. This is Sway's boyfriend. As you guys can imagine, his comment section is already being blown the fuck up. And surprisingly, he still has footage with Sway, which confirms that that is her boyfriend. Now Henry is actually locked up. Somebody even posted on his story saying, free my mud brother, folks ain't talking about shit. Even though Henry is in jail, he's not in jail for what you guys might think. He's in jail for domestic violence, possession of marijuana, for nearly carrying a gun without a permit, and basically everything else besides attempted murder or, or murder itself. The latest that the twins have posted was that somebody actually broke into their house and went through their stuff. Ali actually posted this around 6, 7 in the morning, and Sway just posted it a couple minutes ago and said, I swear y'all broke mad and miserable and broke in our house stealing our shit. None but the damn devil dog. I don't know if somebody actually broke into their house. I don't know if this occurred last night when a dispute was going on. I don't know when that exactly took place. Somebody could have went to the house looking for that $500,000 or they could have even done that themselves or could have at the crime scene. I don't know if it's random and somebody just broke in or what's going on with that situation. But those are the latest updates. I'm actually going to check right now and see if they posted anything because they've been posting a lot, okay? They actually just posted this that says before anybody kill me, I'll kill myself first. Now, as you can guess, whatever has happened is taking a huge mess of toll on them, but that's literally the latest of what's been going on. Now, jumping off from that video, Sway did contemplate on committing suicide. She eventually chose to not make that attempt. Now, we're gonna go ahead and talk about Sway's live and her side of the story. This is gonna be a two-part video. This part is gonna be focusing on Sway's live, and the second part of this video is gonna include a story time that Ali made just five days ago, giving more context about her dispute with Henry, Sway's boyfriend. Now, in this live, Sway clears up that the arguments that took place that night between her and Ali and Henry and James once again did not include this $500,000 that was being talked about. It actually was over an unemployment scam. Yes, bitch, an unemployment scam of $8,000. I'm just gonna give a quick summary and then I'm gonna go ahead and post Sway's live. So Sway was basically saying that Ali and Henry were trying to set each other up and get each other killed. Apparently, Henry owed $8,000 of unemployment money to Ali after having the money that was supposed to be sent to her address sent to his address instead. But Ali was in the home and Sway was telling her that Henry was in there and apparently according to Sway she didn't know that Ali was scared of Henry at this time. Eventually Ali goes out and calls her father and tells her father that she's scared because Henry's there. He's reminding her father that a year ago Henry pistol whipped her over this unemployment scan and he didn't do anything to protect her then. Sway did not know exactly what was said between Ali and her father when she left and called to come over the house. So she was confused when her dad ended up going into the home and he was already angry. So again, he was mad after Ali reminded him, Henry pistol whipped me a year ago and you didn't do nothing about it. So now calling you and telling you I need you now and you know, is expecting him to do something about it. The dad was in the house already mad and ready to defend Ali and trying to get Henry the hell out of his house. Now the dad was ready and so they tried to stop any fight that was gonna happen between her boyfriend Henry and their dad. The dad was allegedly hitting Sway and the mom was trying to stop it and Henry was scared. Sway reiterates that both Ali and Henry are in the wrong. Ali was trying to get Henry killed and Henry was trying to get Ali killed but also threatened to kill Sway. Ciao! That dick can't be that good to be staying with a man who pistol whipped your sister, threatened to kill you, and your whole family isn't cool with. So James told Henry to leave, and as Sway was trying to get Henry out the house, Allie and James was fighting on Sway. At the point that Sway was trying to exit the home with Henry, she grabbed her gun from, I believe she's saying the couch, but she might be saying the counter. It sounds like she's saying the couch. She grabbed it from wherever she had put the gun, and she told Henry to hold it as she was going to go back into the house to get her charger so they can leave. Now, 
Now she told Henry to hold it because she had her little nephew in the house and did not want him to see her walking in the house with a gun. Mind you, the dad also had a gun at this time. While she was getting the charger, the dad went out. Henry was standing at the door at this point with Sway's gun. Sway was in the house trying to get her charger and her dad was on the way outside the home to where Henry was. Allegedly, James put his hands on Henry and started choking him and he had a gun to his head. Apparently, James did not know that Henry had a gun and did not know that there was a bullet in it. And like the articles had earlier stated, allegedly Henry shot James in self-defense. Now I'm going to post Sway's live and then we can go on ahead and talk about it. Ella tried to come in there with him and I told Ella at the door, no, she can't come in because Henry in who? When I told her that, she was like, she was trying to see Stank. I said, he ended up with Henry. You, you know, you don't like Henry or whatever. Like I said, y'all talking about respect how she felt. My my gun was in the couch and, 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 and Brie gun was on, 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 on the counter or whatever. And we was in the room. And after Ella came in there, she, she went out the door. Ella, Ella, Ella went out the door. After Ella went out the door, she got on the phone and she called my dad. I, I don't know what Ella told my dad. I never knew, I never knew she, <coughs> I never knew she was scared of Henry because Ella was trying to get Henry set up and Henry was trying to get her set up. But when Ella seen Henry, Ella ain't say, Ella ain't tell me she was that scared, but Ella trying to just tell it, be real. Like, I ain't get on here. I got on here to tell the truth, nothing but the truth because I'm telling both sides of the story. I'm not blaming it on nobody. Ella was been trying to set the boy over the un un unemployment. She been was trying to set him up, and I told Ella to stop. If I'm with Henry, don't, don't try to set him up. And I kept, I kept calling unemployment people and was like, did Henry get the money? They said Henry never got the money. His his address and stuff was on there, but he never he never got the money. And I told Ellie, I'm I'm gonna keep looking into it and see if he got the money. You need to just just stop trying trying to set him up, bro. Stop trying to set him up. So after I got in touch with the unemployment people. As I got in touch with other people, they said Henry ain't never received the money. So I said, Ella, why you keep messing with him, trying to set him up? He don't, he don't got, he don't got your money. He don't got the money. And I also started trying to set him up. So she kept trying to get the police on him. She kept trying to get the, the police on him. And I'm like, Ella, stop what you trying to pray charge for. The man don't got your money. He don't got your money at all. So why you keep trying to do this? So, so after that, that night. She went outside after she seen him. She went outside. But before all this, she been she been seeing him. Do they and hear had sad words. They was trying to fight. Like Ellie been been seeing him. She never she never told me she was scared of him. She thought she was trying to kill him. Like, why would he try to kill you when he was in the house with me? Like, like, like what what he tried how he tried to kill you? Like, like she 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 blew me dog. Like she trying to make it better than, than what it is. So Ellie went outside. Side and she got on the phone and she called my dad. She called my dad and she told my dad, I don't know exactly what she told my dad. She told my dad she was scared. She scared. She said she was scared. She think he was trying to kill her. Yeah, she she told my dad that. Yeah, my dad felt some type of way. My dad felt some type of way because Ellie told my dad. Ellis Gray told my dad on the phone, tell my daddy you already ain't do nothing the first time when he hit me in the face with a gun. So my dad automatically knew he was going to go in there and, and do something about it. He, he knew he was going to go in there and do something about it because he didn't do nothing the last time about it. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I see how y'all calling me, but I, I don't feel played when they ain't do nothing the first time and he hit him in the face with a gun. But I came to say this after I, I got in touch with the unemployment people here did not have the girl money, never received the girl money or, or none of that. Ellie still kept trying to pick with the boy and we had what we had going on or whatever. But me, we kept going back to each other and Ellie, Ellie sat there and told me she was, she was mad because here, 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 I kept being with him. But at the same time, my daddy. He came in the house as Ellie told him and called him and told him he he ain't do nothing when he hit him in the face with a gun. And his daddy going to feel played and knowing he got to do something about it. My daddy knocked on the door, bro. My, my, my daddy knocked on the door. When he knocked on the door, Bree, Bree said, who is it? He said, 
what here? What here? I said, Daddy, he in the room, Dad. He in the room. So my dad hurry up. He he was so mad. He hurried up and went to the room. Me knowing Ellen went in the room, went I in the car and told my daddy something. Me not knowing what she told him. He asked what he read. Me thinking something to go on because he he's he so mad. In the room, in the door was shut. In my room, and went in that hearing, and I tried to stop him. I tried, I tried, man, I tried. I went in with man. I tried, man, I tried, and I tried to tell my daddy, no, no, daddy, no, no, my daddy, my daddy started hitting me. He started choking me. He started hitting me, choking me because I told him, no, daddy, stop, stop, no, no. He started hitting me, so there's not got me. Why you hear me, Dad? Hear him when doing nothing. He was sitting there, hear him scared, and he was sitting there. He was sitting there looking at my daddy, me, cause I'm trying to tell them to stop, trying to see what was going on. Like I'm trying to see what was going on. My dad was hitting me and choking me, so my mom and dad was pulling my dad off of me. He was pulling my dad off of me, saying, "Doing you wrong? What you come to hit on people for? What you hit on people for?" So my dad said. <laughs> they said, I got smart, but I never got smart. I was trying to stop, stop and see what, 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 what was going on, dog. I was trying to see what, what was going on, why he was so mad. I never knew why my dad was so mad, dog. I never knew. He just came in there trying to get here, and I'm trying to see what was going on, and I was trying to stop it, dog. I was trying, I was trying, and he started hitting on me, and and my mom and my sister said, trying to get him off me. I got back up and was crying like that. Why you hit me, Dad? Why you hit me, Dad? Why you hit me, Dad? I'm trying to see what's going on. Why you so mad, Dad? Why you so mad? And he was mad because he ain't do that. When he, he ain't do that the first time. When he was here on the Facebook again. But I, like I told my dad, at the end of the day, you can't, Ellie, you can't run up on the back with a gun and you don't know all the fact. Like the unimportant people told you that. But at the end of the day, after we get all the information, the boy still ain't had your stuff. Why you keep trying to set him up? Yeah, he, they both was wrong. And he ain't put no fault on nobody. It, it, it ain't had nothing to do with no money. That's what y'all don't understand. Like, Ellie was telling him trying to kill him get and get the kill him and, and, and here was texting both of us talking about he was gonna kill me and he was gonna kill her and do her like this but ellen don't try to act play instant like you just went texting him and trying to get him killed too because you were because every time i was over there and here how you was trying to get him shot both wrong because he shouldn't have had no gun and you shouldn't have ran up on nobody with no gun and you don't know all the facts and the boy was telling you on his auntie, on his dad, auntie, he didn't have the money. He didn't have the money. He didn't have the money, man. He did, man. Like, I can't even don't kill me. I can't. Like, Ellen blowing me. Like, you blowing me. You not telling the truth, dog. Like, I can't, bro. Like, I can't, bro. So after that, so after that, my, my mom and told my dad he was wrong. My dad was so high and mad. He's like, here, you need to leave. So I, I told him, I said, I, I told him, I said, here, wait, wait on me. Cause they, they was out. My daddy was tripping. So I said, here, just wait in my room. Here was trying to find his shoe. Here was trying to leave. Ellie kept running up on me, find me. Then my dad, is my daddy coming to me too. When I'm trying to get this man at the house, I'm trying, I'm trying. It, it wasn't no gun involved or nothing at all. Ellie, we went in the hallway. And my dad, kept running up on me and we was in me and my daddy was in each other i was in all them trying to get here at the house or whatever so that's when we went in the living room or whatever we went i came in i came so bro i'm hurting bro i'm hurting i'm hurting i came in i came bro I got to, bro. I'm tired of news lying like it was about some money in one. Like, it was about hearing being there. It was about hearing him her in the face with a gun. It ain't have nothing to do about what nothing nobody talking about. That one ain't nobody understanding, bro. So, I was trying to get him out there. I'm like, Mom, get Dad. Mom, get let me get him out there. I didn't have my car to jump in my car and go and get him away. I ain't have my car because it was in the shop. And I ain't tell Bree to, to take to take Henry home because she ain't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> I can't, bro. I can't, bro.
Okay, so that's when we was, we was, we was here, was outside on the porch. He was telling my dad, he was telling my dad, you wrong, you wrong, June, for him, my dad, in the face, you, 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 you wrong, June, for him, swipe, for no reason, you, you wrong, June, you wrong. So that's when Ella, me and Ella arguing back and forth, my dad and arguing or whatever. So we, we was out. Side. So I told him to wait outside. I went in the house and I grabbed my gun out the couch. On me, why? I go in the house and get my gun and we start to walk. Henry waited on me outside. When I went in the house to get my gun. Bree, 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 my Bree, Bree was Wayne. Bree was Wayne by 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 the table. Bree was Wayne by the table trying to get cursing them in the back. So that's when my daddy came out of that room. Ella, my daddy came out of Ellie's room. I went in there. Him was waiting on me at the door. Ellie, <laughs> I can't even talk, man. Like, she just went me, man. So that's when we was outside. So I, Ella was calling her phone from my daddy's phone. She was calling her phone, and Ellie's phone was on the porch. Me and Ellie started fighting. I grabbed Ellie's phone and, and was finna take it with me on, 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 on while I was walking. I was finna take it with her. So Ellie seen I was trying to take her phone, and, 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 we, and we started fighting. Me and Ellie started fighting. The gun was in my pocket. The gun was in my pocket, and Ellie kept trying to take the gun. So I said, no, Ellie, bro, we finna go. We finna walk away like y'all can have it y'all can have it. so ella kept trying to fight me with the gun he with up i wasn't trying to shoot ella. ella was trying to get her phone and i threw ella's phone across the street in the neighborhood yard but i had the gun on me so she was trying to take the gun i guess for her phone or something i i don't know but i threw her phone or whatever and the next door neighbor when he got out the or whatever and after that Henry had my gun or whatever, so Henry like, come on, let's go, bro, bro, I'm scared, I'm scared, let's go, let's go, bro, he, he tried to kill you, bro, he started hitting on you, no reason, I said, Henry, let, let we get the start to walk, and I said, Henry, wait, I need my charge, I need to go in the house and get my, my charger, so after I got my charger or whatever, so I said, Henry, get my gun back, after I got my gun, I said, Henry, wait on me at the door, because I didn't know what Ella was going in the house to do. I had a gun, and, and Ella had a gun. I had a gun, and Ella had a gun. Like I said, I told him, well, the way at the door for me. I said, hey, wait, I'm finna go get my choice, and we finna go. We gonna go. Like, we gonna go. So I told him to hold my gun. I said, here, hold my gun. When nobody was supposed to shoot. Then nobody supposed to shoot. I said, hold my gun. Once I turned around and went in my room, once I went in my room and the couple said that and I grabbed my charge, my dad was so mad. He had the gun and he said he was coming out of the, the room with the gun. He, he, he came out the room. He came out the room with the gun. He he didn't know he ever had a gun. He didn't know he ever had a gun. I told him to hold the gun while I go and get and get my charge because the churn and my nephew was in there. I didn't want to walk through the house with the gun and me and Ella start fighting. So I, I, I told him to hold the gun. I told him because cause the churn and my nephew was in there. So I, I know when me and Ella was going to start fighting again and I had a gun again. I told him to. to I told him. I told you, bro. I told you to hold it good, bro. Cause I ain't want to walk through the house with the chair in there. So that's why I had the gun in the couch. So here it was waiting at the door with me when I grabbed my charge so we can leave. My daddy came out the door. He came out the door with the gun. Going to Henry and choked him and put a gun to his head. He, 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 he ain't know the bullet was in, in, in the gun, bro. He didn't know the no, bullet was in, in, in the gun, bro. <laughs> and, and, and like I said, I, we ain't had no gun until we was trying to leave, bro. We was trying to leave, bro. We was trying to leave. That's why I grabbed my, 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 my gun at the couch. We was trying to leave. He was waiting. Henry was waiting on me at the door. My daddy ain't no, no bullet was in the gun. He didn't know Henry had no gun. He was running up on Henry, not knowing it was no gun in the bullet. B bullets. Again, I just want to go back to saying that I didn't really understand why she would have Henry in the house in the first place. I mean, let alone stay with him after what he did to her family and to her. Like, that's 
toxic relationship at its absolute finest. Now I'm trying to debate whether or not Ali was actually scared because Henry threatened her but she also threatened Henry and was trying to set up hits on him as well so was she really scared or was she trying to get her dad riled up and come to the house and basically get back at him for what he did the year before. So I'm kind of stuck between the two because at the end of the day obviously doesn't like Henry and didn't want her sister to be with him. So when Sway posted that picture on her Instagram saying that it wasn't over money it was because she was with Henry it seems like that's literally the reason why the whole dispute taking place and it clearly just went way too far. According to Sway her and Henry tried to leave the house and it seemed like James was really riled up and mad that one he was there but, but two what he did to Allie his daughter just the year before. Overall it sounds like a tragedy it sounds like something that wasn't meant to happen at all it didn't have to be taken this far. Does it even matter to try to blame it on somebody at this point because James did lose his life essentially over protecting his daughter from Henry and I could imagine any father would be beyond pissed with this man in their house after threatening both their daughters and pistol whipping one of them causing a permanent scar on her face that she had to get five stitches over after stealing money that did not belong to him so it's just crazy. I am waiting and we are going to see if Ali posts her side of the story because maybe things are different but this is just Sway's side of the story. However, some of this content can be confirmed in a story time that Ali posted a couple days ago. So right after this video, I will be uploading part 2 of Ali's story time that gives more background context to this story. So that is it my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down what you guys think below. Follow me on Instagram at my Snapchat, Aisha Christy, two S is two Ys. I love and appreciate you guys and I will see y'all in part 2 in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, she the girl, she the girl, she the girl.